and they just get it off. Pressure coming. That screen to Ralph Webb, trying to find the edge. Webb picks up the first down as Micah Abernathy brings him down from behind, a gain of 10. Yeah, that's on a bad will. He's not healthy, ladies and gentlemen. Playing about 90% on a bad ankle. And that 90% is better than a lot of backs around the country. This is a special player at Vanderbilt. Just came into the game, and he had a point. That's a horse collar. But needing just 27 yards to become the school's all-time leading rusher, and he's got another year left. 11 yards going into that last run for Webb. And on play action, Shermer has two deep, and he's able to work it deep. With a nice grab by Jared Pinckney, gain of 28. Cole, what do you see in the play action? Big play there off play action, Tom. We saw it last week, this Vanderbilt offense under Andy Ludwig. It felt like every bit of success that they had through the air came off play action. They go a little bit faster, but boy, even when the run game is not necessarily cranked up, Kyle Shermer is excellent off the play fake. Yeah, and when you have a target like Jared Pinckney, he was big last week, three big catches, starting off well tonight. Play action again. Out of the backfield is the fullback, McElwain. He's in the end zone for the second consecutive week. What a job in terms of calling plays by Andy Ludwig. The offensive coordinator for Vanderbilt. They accept the rush. Free release by the back. McElwain out of the backfield. It just takes a touch pass from Kyle Shermer to get him into the end zone. Excellent, excellent job of calling plays. Tommy Openshaw for the point after to cap a sixth place, 75 yard drive. Oh, close. Tennessee almost got to it. Tied at 7, 6.49 remaining in the first quarter in Nashville.